go. Did you it's press five? Going. I did. Yeah. So this is Kites and Jenny. Hello. We're gonna give commentary to this defiance video. Even though I talked during the video, but I was an idiot and it didn't record, so That's right, gonna... so now he needs uh my my special expertise to get it done right. Yep, I need the assistance of Jenny to talk through this video. So I started a uh, a new character and now it's loading to Sausalita. Okay. <laughs> I had so many good lines too when I originally did it, but oh well. That's okay. That's not going to happen again. Alright, so this is, you've already created your character and now you're just loading into the main game? No, this is me creating a new one. Okay. And this is the opening, so this is like, I think I do like the first 20 minutes of the game and then, and then I do like an arc event. So this is the opening to the game. Okay. There's not really any spoilers. It's pretty a generic, pretty much a generic story. And then I, they'll air the TV show and have the game progress as the TV show progresses with it. I think so. I think they are going. They're planning to add episodic content, like okay. as the TV show goes, and then in between seasons they'll they'll have some like side stuff. Right. So there's a very phallic spaceship as usual. Yep. And more loading. <laughs> Was this your um your first attempt at playing the game, or had you run through it a few times? No, I I played it once in beta and wasn't impressed. And then I did make a my uh, Mickey Rourke like character, who's actually the second part of the video. Uh, so I thought show the beginning would be a good uh, good thing for people who were maybe on the fence about buying the game. Up, okay. Paul. We just passed the golden gate. We'll be on site less than 20. I think I mentioned that all military guys have to always look pissed off like in video games. They, they, so. <laughs> they really do. And then like it didn't make any sense to me why he's yelling this. Don't they, they shouldn't they have some kind of intercom system so you know his voice can kind of carry to everybody instead of just yelling like an ass? Yeah, he, they might as well just put a foghorn in his hand. What's the problem, you better get your men in line, Captain Grant. I want my equipment out of storage. My Ark Hunters and I depart as soon as... Laying down the law. The Earth Republic is in a limousine service. Your gear's locked up and we don't have time to dig... He's even got Bluetooth. Now, you could just call everybody. Your seat. Right. <laughs> but I think your orders were to do as I asked. And their Bluetooths are, like, even larger than what we have now. People in Manhattan Both wearing... Those military you. things get outdated. And those orders are to keep you safe while you look must have like extra functionality like GPS and it's probably just that Google Glass. Do you see this? With this arc core, of course he's not wearing glasses. Alright, so <laughs> Do you what, see is, this? <laughs> what is what is this man trying to get the uh the colonel, captain, whatever he is to do? He's basically a scientist and he's hitching a ride with the military to this particular area of Earth. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not an expert on defiance at all, but basically he's a scientist and he's looking for these arc falls. Um, it's basically technology that's just like falling in this region. Okay. And he's got these arc hunters that came along with him to, to find out. These two are, you know, the main right. characters of the TV show. No problem, Captain. You too. Now in the game, do you get to play as those characters, or are they just characters that you follow along with, or how they're, does that work? They're um, they're they're in the game, so you can interact with them, but no, you don't play as them. So here okay. I am in character create. All right. Starting out, there's only two races to pick from, and then you know, male, female. Right. I think you can um. Maybe buy more races at the shop. I'm not sure. I never bothered to look, but I th I think they're going to add more at some point. Mm -hmm. But only two at the start, and then there's um, four different origins, uh, like veteran, survivalist, um, outlaw, and machinist. Okay. And what are the starter weapons they have there? Uh, light machine gun for machinist, shotgun for outlaw, survivalist gets a sniper rifle, and the, um, vet, I don't even think it's called a veteran, but I missed it when I was clicking on it. It starts out with, like, uh, an assault rifle type weapon. Okay. And then the archetypes, 
They kind of just change the facial structure. Right. You can and... go from extremely manly lady to extremely feminine lady. Yeah. There's no in between, though. And then, yeah, there's bone structure, nose, mouth, skin color. And the thing, too, about the starting um, classes is I don't think it really matters because you can use any weapon once you get actually get into the game. Right. So I think it's just what you start with. Eye shape, eye color, eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's no APB motor, that's for sure. It, it, no, but you know what? Nothing can be APB. Ooh, I like the side ponytail option. That was cute. I'm curious to see what you went with. That's like the, the Julie Benz one, though. The, the side ponytail? The show. Yeah. The weird tattoos <laughs> selection. You can put tattoos on her forehead. Okay. Yeah. And then I was making note of the stock tattoos that are on her arm. Mm -hmm. Those aren't removable, I'm guessing, right? No, I think that's part of the um, outlaw fit. Right. Because that's what it shows. And then there's makeup, which I didn't bother with. I was pretty fond of the skull makeup. Clearly, it's it's pretty neat. Cool, it almost no. looks like she's got like a timer on her forehead. <laughs> right? Do you need to know the time? Well, if you're around me at the exact right time of the day, I can tell you what time it is. Just look at my face. And this is me grabbing Delcia's name for him. Oh, nice. Is he aware that you stole his name? I'm holding it for him. Now, oh, okay. Partner. Hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't God, he's bossy. <laughs> Sorry he's only a captain. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Strap in. I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to. Useful. I implanted this thing in you, but never told you what it would do. <laughs> and now I can't. Whoops. When we land, don't go anywhere. Chick looks badass. She does. without a proper briefing. So he's never going to tell you what he implanted inside of you, is he? You're going to have to not. figure that out. His nose looks weird. Turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all going to die. She's actually quite cheery once you get to know her. <laughs> Who brought the party pooper along? <laughs> Alert. All integrity compromised. Initiating evacuation sequence. Am I allowed to swear? I'll try uh, to keep yeah. it to a minimum. All right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who your broadcasting audience is, so... People in judgment. All right. <laughs> More loading! That looks like San Francisco. So it technically take, it takes place on Earth, right? Yes. Okay. Brace yourself, Cass. Brace yourself. It's be real bad. I'm braced. Okay. Okay. Uh, which one of these dealies opens this bitch? See, they cuss in the game, so. Okay, fair enough. Nice. Holy stucco. You're alive. <laughs> but their pair words, their swear words are stucco. Yeah, I think it means shit. <laughs> well, maybe that's not the right word. It was more smashing into the ground than landing. I sort of expected you to be a bowl of soup in there. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is the ego implant that wasn't explained. Okay. Whoa, are you okay? Do you need help? <laughs> no, I just, you know, shake my head in pain. <laughs> that's my thing. Here, sit down before you pass out. I'm sure you took more than a bump to the head, so rest. Get your feet under you. That's right. <laughs> you smash your head and you should really go to sleep. It's the best <laughs> cure for a concussion. <laughs> the locals aren't known she failed first aid. Yeah. 
Just close your eyes and take a rest. That's not creepy. <laughs> the cow goes to tap, like, it's not... It's not real. Yeah. Looks really weird, too. Okay. So yeah, this is like the AI of the ego implant, which is okay. pretty obvious, I guess, but... Is it gonna be like her Jiminy Cricket? Yep. Awesome. It's it's the Cortana. Okay. Oh. And yeah. Oh, now I'm gonna now we're gonna have a cat meowing too. Awesome. And some random dude just like spawned out of your back. I think I spawned out of the dude actually. Okay. Uh, control quick. See, my voice is gonna come up sometimes when I randomly press oh, control for whatever reason. Okay. So, so it's like really? a double I'm talking. The game yet, and I got an invite from someone. I don't know. How amazing was that? Were you actually talking to anyone or just yourself? I was talking. Well, I mean, I was trying to, you know, voice as I played. Hmm. Gotcha. So talking to yourself. Yep. Oh, by myself. <laughs> Here's the inventory. So, okay. you can only have t two weapons equipped, primary and secondary, okay. and then a shield, We're going to need another weapon and grenade. Up a from a Pretty standard stuff. Right. Um, as you progress in the game, though, you can get other weapons and stuff like that, right? Yeah. However, their DNA is yeah, there'll be weapon drops, or, um, you know, get them out of... The scenery looks pretty cool. I mean, it's hard to tell at this um, the setting, but uh, how are the graphics for you um, from your I mean, point of view? I mean, they're decent. I, I don't so much like this beginning area because I find it really hard to see the enemies because everything is kind of like, you know, muted colors. Everything's like brown mm. and dark orange. I like the that perspective though. When I'm playing video games, that tends to be the perspective I like. The third person, just kind of behind the shoulder look. Did you play Skyrim like that, third person? Yes, the whole time. Uh. Too. I can I couldn't tolerate just looking at my flaming hands. <laughs> I was like, I designed this really great character. She looks really cool now. Look at her hands. Yeah. <laughs> just didn't work for me. So they equipped the shotgun. So I guess the the flames are kind of taking you to your waypoint. No, I think they're. Mm. I think the waypoints somewhat change. Okay. I'm a boss. <laughs> they just stuck there, stood there, and took it. Yeah. Testing out the jumping key. That doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> so you could literally just run past any kind of opposition. Yeah, I mean, this is like the basically a tutorial, so. Right. I don't even think, at the, yeah, at this point, you, you don't even get XP for killing anything, so. Mm -hmm. Let's just go here and get your weapon, and then go here and get your grenade, and then we'll explain ego powers. I think you already know how this works. Pull the pin, throw, and get out of there. Looks like you got that nail. <laughs> so there's four main ego powers, which is actually going to go over in the video. Okay. Oh, neat. Um, so it looks like with that cloaking power, you still don't even really need to, uh, really sneak. Like, you can just run up on them. Um, PvE stuff, yeah. Okay. I think that's the most useful. other games, useful. like, um, in Fallout, for example, like, when you use that on your, um, that little thing you wear on your wrist, I can't remember what it's called, something boy. 
Pip boy. Um, yeah, yeah. Whenever you go invisible, you still have to like sneak because they'll still be able to sense you. Right. The blur power is now enabled. Blur will allow us to make See that oh. one? <clears throat> I just used decoy. I think that one's really dumb because it's just a hologram. It doesn't even do anything, but they're so fooled by it. And right. then blur is basically just gives you like really powerful melee. Because it's just like it's just a trail behind you. Yeah, I think overcharge is the most useful one. I mean, it's the most simple one, definitely. It just increases your damage for a short mm -hmm. period. I'm receiving a signal. I'll patch it through. Thank you. Can anyone hear me? I need help down here. Hey, there's that Staco. Oh no! <laughs> See, she is Jiminy Cricket. You go to make one bad move, and she's like, "Oh, I don't know." Yeah. Should let your conscience be your guide. We need to shut these dudes down. If we don't, you can forget about finding any survivors. <laughs> Yeah, they, they just make it look so easy. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty laughably simple here in the, right. in the beginning. But I mean, it picks up pretty quick. <laughs> I love their death sounds. The gun sounds are pretty, are pretty bad, though, I think. <laughs> Compared to the epic death sounds, yeah. I like how the the killing blow like forces them into the air and back. What can you do to that thing? It looks like it's going to explode. <laughs> All I did was press E, Stacker. <laughs> Have they been able to land a single shot on you yet? Yeah, I think they've hit me a few times, but okay. nothing to take out the shield. I mean, I'm, I, yeah, I'm not threatened at all. I'm just like standing in the middle, like, oh, uh, <laughs> kill these guys. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> it's funny because that that little cube there on the left, uh, where they keep coming out of. When we first passed by it, it reminded me of like um, a porta potty. <laughs> so as you're running by, you just see this guy come out. I was like, did that guy just come out of a porta potty? <laughs> And just get shot in the face. That thing's about to blow. Let's get They're probably here. like those uh, orcs from Lord of the Rings, that are just being molded out of feces. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Explosion. Way to go. That's what you want to see when you're like coming to <laughs> Skullface. The face of death, don't you? That's amazing. First time I've ever seen one in action. You know, I think we're gonna make one hell of a team. I like this dodge. <laughs> Epic product placement. They're gonna need help. I'm sure we'll be in. Grievous is playing Planet Side too. Yes, he was. Actually, he's passed out on the couch right now. Um, I noticed that like your uh, your your uniform is actually pretty decent. Yeah, the starting clothes, and there seems to be a different clothes. This is actually skipped ahead. I'm on Kite's character now. Okay. Uh, driving in the truck, you basically get uh, a vehicle within the first hour of play, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. You know, most games you have to get or MMOs, it'll take you a few hours, if not more, to get to your first. Quick transport. See, so far to me, it doesn't feel like an MMO. But I'm sure it picks up, right? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't. I mean, it's got quests, but it's not so much. They're kind of scattered over the map, and uh, I wouldn't say it feels like an MMO. I mean, there's definitely other people around, so it's it's persistent mm -hmm. online world. But yeah, it, if it it really feels more like APB, just with like the server cap at like 500 and not right. horrible <laughs> and it seems like you have the option to like engage or not engage 
Yeah. Which is nice. Because, you know, for us antisocial people who don't like MMOs and being around, you know, hordes of people. So right now, I'm I'm trying to find uh, an ARC event, or trying to find my way to the ARC event okay. to show it off, and I'm going the wrong way a lot. <laughs> um, so your opposition in the game, is it, um, is it all NPCs? It's, it's mostly PvE focused, because there's only the one faction okay. in the game right now. There are, um, like, battlegrounds and stuff that you can enter into. I haven't really gotten into that yet, though. So there's PvP elements, but it's not, as far as I can tell, in the open world. Like, you're not just going to okay. go into a zone and it's like, you know, you're B-Flag for PvP. That I, that I know of. I haven't okay. found anything like that so far. I think I skipped ahead again taking some shortcuts over some hills. The driving's pretty fun, it's interesting. Um, how did you acquire your car? Uh, that truck is one of the Steam pre-order bonuses. Okay. But the one you get at the beginning is kind of like uh, an ATV type thing. Mm -hmm. And they all have a boost. Is that what the uh, lawn mower sounding blue thing sound is? See, and there's Mickey Rourke. Oh my goodness! Wow, he really does look like him. We'll, we'll see more of him. And uh, right here I was talking about, um, like this menu, XP, script, reputation, skills, loot. That's sort of like the cash shop thing. Like you'll have to buy like the bonuses if you want it. Mm -hmm. This is a skills menu. So you can you actually level up whatever weapon you're using and it unlocks extra stuff like you see there runners level two gives me plus four percent speed mm -hmm. so that's cool so you can basically just use one weapon and level up that weapon or you can right. try to you know be a master of all trades the inventory screen isn't nothing to be awesome of. and then i think kira's talking about okay you see all this stuff but where's the logout or exit game <laughs> like it's it's, it's nowhere to be found so you have to hold space. While uh, in that menu, you hold space, and then it brings up this, and then you have to go around this little wheel until Defiant Store, Settings, Social, Matchmaking, like, okay, where's Logout? Oh, here it is, up in the uh, <laughs> corners, like hidden away. They don't want you to leave this game once you no. enter it. Kind of an, an annoying menu setup. I mean, right. there's shortcut keys, but just, just for a casual person, they're going to be like, how... The hell? Yeah, I heard I heard someone saying like, "How the hell can I get out of this game?" And they spent a little while looking for it. Yeah, not the smartest UI right there, I think. Right. So, uh, there seems to be variation in the landscape, which is which is pretty nice. And here I am failing. <laughs> I cannot get up the hill. I don't think there's any vehicle customization. I think you might be able to buy like skins and change the color somewhat, but definitely nothing like APB making your own decals or whatever. Right. I want up this hill so bad. <laughs> oh, there you go. Into the rock. Persistence. <laughs> just, just be persistent. Uh, did your vehicle take damage? Yes, it does, actually. Okay, so when and you ram into that tree, you're probably not doing it very good. Yeah, and... Okay. But uh, on the other side, you can run over enemies in your vehicle, too, and do damage to them. That's so nice. That's nice. I'm getting closer and closer to this arc event. And, of course, the bridge is blocked. <laughs> 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 I, I, I thought maybe I could just go through it, like, right. oh, maybe the door will just open now. And there I got a pursuit update. And, and just a perfect landing right there. Right. Tire still attached. And at this point, I have no idea where I actually am. I just know that I'm trying to get to the thing. Mm -hmm. Some interesting fauna going on. It's very non-Earth-like. Yeah. And I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like the two spare tires on the back of the truck. It would be awesome if there was just, you know, when you try to do those massive jumps and landings that, like, a tire blows off and you have to actually <laughs> spend time, like, leveling up your mechanic skill to change your tire. <laughs> that might be too sandboxy for some people. I would like it. I would like that too. I, I'm waiting for the day when a, a very brutal sandbox game comes out. Like it's the Sims, but way, on a whole nother level. Way too real to life. <laughs> That's kind of why I'm interested in Wildstar, because I like uh, house plots and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Especially like the, the guild uh, compounds that you can create and stuff with yeah. weapons and stuff. That's pretty neat. Yeah, we didn't really, like, we didn't get to see any of that when we were at PAX. Um, we just got, like, 20 minutes, make your character, play the game, and, uh, you know, that's all we got to really see. They had a, a brief video on, like, things you can do in Wildstar, and it's like, build a home! Right, right, right. <laughs> Done! <laughs> so here, like, there'll be a little icon if you're within a reasonable range for when an arc fall is dropping. You can also look on the map to see if they're any far away. <laughs> okay, so cl clarify this for me, what you're following. Um, I'm going to an Arcfall event, which is basically the crux of the game. It's almost like, um, I don't, I'm pretty sure you haven't played Rift, but their other game, Rift, no. it's, it's kind of the same similar <laughs> Mechanic. It's like a group a group event. You'll see there's a lot of players here. And you're just running so these, over. Yeah, these like kind of crystal things fall, and basically, for whatever reason, these hell bugs like come out in full force to uh, to protect it. I don't know if they're drawn to it. And I, I don't know okay. too much about the backstory of the stuff right now. I'm sure they'll explain a lot of it in the TV show. I didn't bother to like go on the Defiance wiki or anything. <laughs> Um, but they're just basically these nasty alien things that come in a bunch of different different types, but they're just group events that'll give you, you know, a, a good bit of experience and chance at some good weapons, etc. And there, my trick just blew up. So, this, I've only done this, this particular Arcfall event, there's a couple different This game, you were supposed to actually like. It wasn't like necessarily an arms race to get all the aliens' weapons, but weren't you supposed to actually collect the new technology that the aliens had brought to the planet? Yeah, that's kind of what the arc falls are about, because there'll okay. be there'll be technology on it. Like um, in the 14-minute clip of like what the show is like. I think the Arcfall event in that first 14 minutes is basically like a derelict ship that was stuck in Earth orbit, like fell and crashed. Mm -hmm. So they were, you know, going to it to, to search for salvage. So Mickey Rourke with the light machine gun action <laughs> here. And then there's, there's like these weird like pus-like things come out of the crystal. I don't know, I don't understand that part. But you gotta shoot them to damage it. Right. And you run out of ammo pretty fast. So how are you beginning. getting more ammo here? Um, there's usually a checkpoint fairly close to where this stuff happens, and there's a uh, there's always like a persistent crate there that you basically just hold the and refill all your ammo, which I will go to at some point. I think I'm that's what I'm kind of looking for right now. <laughs> Jumping around. Prancing towards. So, so yeah. these are other uh, online players that you're fighting with, right? Yeah. 
crap. And See? it's a pretty chaotic scene, and like, one of the annoying things about that is there could be so many people that they all kind of like come in and out. Like, they'll just like disappear from the screen for a second, and then they'll come back, or. Because there's only so many players that could be on the screen at, at one time right now. Well, I noticed too when you when you entered the kind of the ring there, and you were driving your your car around. You seemed to do no damage to the people that were playing with you. No, there's no uh, there's no friendly fire damage, and oh, that's uh, good. you can't run into other vehicles. You'll just go right through them. Okay. So that. The only way that you can grief, I think you could still park your vehicle, like, say, over this ammo thing that I'm on right now, and it makes it really hard for other people to access it. Right. So that was kind of like a mini arc fall thing, which can lead to a larger event, which is what's happening right now with that big fat guy over there. Right. Well, that's interesting. Do you, I'm hoping you go over there. I am. I think my truck, like, ran out of gas, so I spawned a new one. <laughs> oh wow. I'm just gonna park right there on his crotch. On his crotch, very nice. So this guy, um, it's like that big one, and then once you do enough damage, like this huge fly looking thing, like, yeah. comes out of it, and then you gotta kill that. These are kind of the smaller ones that I'm shooting mm -hmm. at right now. Revolting Hellbugs. And Mature Hellbug. Yeah. And then there's like, you know, elite versions. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting, pretty fun. They can last quite a while though, I think. But you this know what? One. The thing I like about it, even though there's a lot of players, um, I think it's the camera angle. I think that's what changes the nature of the game for me. Yeah, I don't um, like the zoom where it just goes over the shoulder yeah. instead of down the sight. Although I, it would obviously go down the sight with like the sniper rifle sight, but... I think when I'm playing games like, um, you know, when I'm panned out, like really from a distance and you're trying to play at that angle, um, I find it really difficult to actually be able to focus on my own character and what I'm doing. I tend to get lost in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Whereas in a game like this, um, I can clearly see what I'm doing, what my targets are, um, and that makes the game for me a bit more appealing. Yeah, I mean, the, it's, it's definitely a, the focus is always on you. Which is nice, because I know what you're talking about. There'll be games where you'll be doing stuff, and then you'll be like, wait, where the hell am I even here? <laughs> yeah. um, my first experience with that was actually just like uh, Ultimate Alliance. Um, and that was only with like four people. But still, if you get like just the angle of the camera, it encompasses it so that everybody, everybody's there. Everybody can be seen mm. equally. So I would be like, when I first started playing it, I'd be like off in a corner, just like running into a wall for a <laughs> while. And there's different like uh, grenade effects too. Like the grenade I have equipped on them right there mm -hmm. explodes, but then it leaves like a little pool of like sludge that the enemies could get stuck in. I remember seeing that. I saw another one uh, where it explodes explodes and then a whole bunch of little critters come out and kill like something yeah. beside it. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, there's even guns that like you shoot it but it's like it shoots like a bunch of like parasitic bugs that will like cover the nice. enemy and do damage. So this is a pretty cool effects in play. I, th I think that if Tryon had a choice they probably would have wanted to do a few months more work on this game but Obviously, since the television series is debuting, yeah. I want to say not this weekend, but next weekend. Yeah, I knew it was um, early to mid-April. Yeah, so they had to get the ball rolling. And it's a buy. It's a buy-to-play game. 
but you know it's got the cash up and right. then they're gonna yeah, have like, the I, set I, of content that they're gonna want to charge for i saw that it was 60 dollars on steam yeah and i don't think i think that 60 is probably too much they probably should have just done like 40 maybe mm-hmm I'm wondering how many more of these types of games you're going to see, because you play, what is it, Persona 4, right? Yeah, and that's, that's an RPG. And, yeah, and that's linked to a television show as well. But is it episodic, or is it just, you know, it, there's no, a game and there's a show? They made the show after the game. so okay. the, And the show pretty much just goes over the same events that happen in the game. So right. they're only linked in that they cover the same things. Whereas, you know, this is, there's stuff in like this before that I know of where it's going to be, because you'll be able to see characters and the world will change in the game according mm -hmm. to what happens on the show. And they've ever talked about like, um, some stuff happening in the game. They might briefly talk about in the show. Like if there's, uh, say a certain group of players that are like really dominating or RP or something like that, they might like make mention of it in the show, which oh, wow. seems pretty cool. It'd be interesting to see like the show, like the main characters are in a jeep, and then over the radio you just hear in the background like, "In the judgment, our people are up to it again." <laughs> <And> the... <laughs> Some of them burrow and stuff, so there's. It's interesting. It's definitely chaotic, and the events do last mm -hmm. last yeah, quite a while. Last for a while. And, and, and they might go quicker, just depending on how many people are with you, but it's kind of hard yeah. to tell how many people are actually even around you. Yeah, there's no... Well, you can see, are they the purple people on your... Yeah, um... yeah so there, I mean, there's probably like 20 people. Right. 20 to 30 people. But it doesn't have the kind of interface where you can see, like, off to the side who's online with you, or... Right. Wait, and did I, I say offline? I meant online. <laughs> and I had a hard time finding, like, uh... I don't like that there's no chat that's just, like, open. I mean, the lower right, I think, is the chat, but... Uh, it's hard to get into, like, the social, like, who's online in the guild right now, and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. So I think that goes back to the UI stuff. I think they need to work on that, personally. Maybe nobody else finds issue with it, but I find it annoying. <laughs> And then I think I'm gonna actually die here at some point. I know. But there's an there's a nice mechanic in that the first time you go down, and I think you could uh, <laughs> trying to like change my weapon in the middle of As this fight. getting shot. Um, I think you can increase it, but there's an interesting mechanic to where like the first time you go down, you can like self revive yourself like right there. Nice. So it's like a second chance, and then even if you respawn, it usually puts you extremely close to where you were. There's no um, corpse running, like running back to your body or anything like most mm -hmm. MMOs. Um, can your health regen on its own, or do you need like health kits? No, it, you have a uh, you have health regen, so it's okay. it's like uh, it's basically just like APB, where if you stay out of fire long enough, your yeah. health will regen back. Which is interesting. I mean, it totally gets rid of, you know, you don't have a, a tank and a healer or whatever. It's just everybody's got a gun and yeah, here. I... Oh <laughs> no. So, and you can crawl around too and somebody else can actually revive you then come up and and pick you up. Okay. That's the uh, mature Hellbug Hellion, the boss. He does look quite mature. <laughs> His wings have grown to full span. Mickey Rourke's gonna gonna finish this bitch. It's just twice today I've seen Mickey Rourke in very very different costume. <laughs> Earlier we were watching a movie and he was um, he was a drag queen <laughs> in prison. Nice. Yes, it was some Steve Buscemi movie. So then the arc event ends and there's a giant oh, wow. thing. So it'll end and then it'll bring up this menu right here, which will show you your rewards yeah, for completing the event. So uh, what would that number three be? 
I have no idea. Okay. But you got three of them. Yeah. Uh... And I think the one that I did earlier, I got far less rewards. I think they, they had an issue where they're, they weren't giving out very many rewards. Mm -hmm. So you, you look at that, and then it'll show you, like, who did the most damage, who got the most kills, yada, yada, yada. Right. What's your character's uh, name again? It's Kites, and okay. I couldn't I couldn't scroll down the list, so I'm I was probably pretty far down there though, because okay. the the light machine gun I was using is actually the one you start with, so I'm sure it's not very right. powerful at all. And then there's point to another arc event, but how did you spawn your car there? Uh, it's V. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just spawn it anywhere. I don't know if there's a lore reason for how you can just teleport your car to any location. Not that there would need to be. It's a <laughs> game, after all. And then up in the upper left, that 113, that's your ego rating. It's yeah. kind of like a level, but there really aren't levels in this game. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of just keep playing. I think it's nice, but I think it might turn off a lot of people that don't have a lot of MMO experience, because it's hard to track where you are progression-wise. Right. And where you should go and what you should be doing. And right here, I'm just driving around in circles, talking about the game, <laughs> but I don't remember what I was saying. I think my, just my general impressions were, right. which is, I mean, it's it's an alright game. I don't think they should have charged a full 60 bucks for it. I think they should no. have just went, you know, 30 or 40 Especially since they're planning on, they have like a season pass that you can buy. So they're already planning to have a couple episodic things that, You'll probably have to pay ten bucks each for her, which. So it's just gonna keep grabbing the money out of players' pockets as right. they go. Right, and then it's got a cash store, so. I don't know about the longevity of it, and it's actually over now. It is. So, thanks for joining me, Jenny. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, kites. Hope you enjoyed this. Five people who watch this video, maybe. <laughs> I hope they will too. <laughs> Especially Ada. after, you know, we cut out all the parts where, you know, things just fall to shit. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs>